Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another Total War episode with me, your host, Imperial Dane, here with Thrones of Britannia. Which we've got some news for, actually. Apparently, there's going to be an update here next week. Well, yeah, next week, basically, where they're going to be updating the difficulty because apparently a lot of people found it kind of too easy, which I kind of did as well. So, uh, that's going to be nice, I think. I'll probably aim just for long victory, then the ultimate victory here with East England. Just long victory, which still looks pretty much within the, well, grasp. And then we'll switch over to some other factions. So, but we've got another faction like to place. Sign, sign off in the comments. I'll look at that. They're probably not Northumbria. That's one I've sort of personal replayed. Would be too much different. But, uh, let me know. Let me know. And I shall work on it. In the meanwhile, though, we sort of are here at the turn's end area. Some battles ahead. We'll probably lose that to the rebels, though, by the looks of it. If they decide to attack next turn. Bit unfortunate, but there you go. And we still got a bunch here to deal with in the west. Of course, we got our other armies on the move. But let's end the turn. Let's end. Advance. Note that whenever the campaign comes next, I'll be playing on very hard as well. No hard, no more. Hadn't anticipated again that it would be this easy. Had I known it, I'd probably gone for very hard right away, to be honest. But that's what happens. That is what happens. Quickly cutting down these rebels and move up to. Well, actually, we don't need to. We got another army that can support that. Ransom can keep the uh, local populace a bit more in check. I want to deal with them. Move down there. Now we'll see. Advance an accent. Brick? Well, how am I supposed to pronounce that? Without delay. I like English. For glory. That needs to be converted. There's a silver mine. That's pretty good. Gotta keep track of the Vikings. Or Vikings. Whatever that's pronounced. Move towards there. Let's go. And up here we can Enemy sort of slowly work. build up this force a bit. Finally got some fear to pop in. Mm. More salt. You will get a fair hearing. And then vassals. We will talk now. Apparently also vassals. Interesting. A Welsh kingdom all outside of Wales. That feels a bit weird. Alright. Persuade Wales. Anyway, it's might as well get some stuff going there. Here and there. What new trickery is this? Oh, hello. So on one end it's excessive, and then otherwise it's eh. There. But they seem to be having quite an impact in Ireland, so you know, might as well make friends with them. Might as well. And a bit of resources on that. Through the Declaration of Friendship. You will get a fair hearing. Well, not much else to do there, I think. End the turn. End the turn. Wessex moving about a bit there.
Okay, they have landed in Dover or Dover. Uh, guess we just pay them off. That's that. Whoops. Ah, damn it. Bloody steam overlay. You can rely on us. I can't just, you know, behave. Be a good overlay. I don't think Scapter's burger needs much direct management. Just a bunch of dirty rebels. In need of a good kicking and stabbing. Yes. Not much to say there. We pledge your service. Glastonbury or Glastonbury? Without delay. Our foes mm. shall fall. Foes shall fall. Not enough resources for more troops. Mm. Overall, the army is large, yet. Not in too poor condition. Let's potentially cause more trouble. Hmm. We'll see this through. Uh, all right. This uh, rebel army has grown quite sizable. Quite sizable. Bit bigger than I anticipated it would. Mm, this could, of course, also go out of control if I'm not careful. Enemy blood will flow. It's a bit of a uh, tricky thing here. What we almost done researching? Uh, just the shield. Oh, might be worth waiting a turn just for that little addition. But every little bonus we can get there to make our axe troops and sword troops better could very well pay off nicely. Ah, the bastards! You sneaky little weasels! I'm gonna cut you down! Well, I already was, but I'm gonna cut you down harder. That'll teach you. Oh, well. They went straight forward, and apparently I didn't even have to worry. That is uh, easily done with. Quartermaster, scribe, and bard. Going to mop up these chaps. I thought they were going to be more intimidating, to be honest, but uh, now apparently it wasn't quite as elite force as I'd worried about. Let's go. We pledge your service. Yes. We will. There we go. Our foes. For glory! At once! Eager and willing, bring them! Gotta head back there and put an axe into their skulls. Now it's gonna be difficult since he must have just raised the army on the spot. So obviously pretty easy. The Honestly, I don't know how many kings of Wessex I've killed by now. I've honestly lost count. Ten? Yes. A dozen? A baker's dozen? I've killed a lot of those people. We pledge our service. Hurry along. I've killed an awful lot of them. We serve to the end. Show us the foe. Yes, we upgrade these chaps with whatever better we can get. Move towards Stanford and set up for pushing westwards. Rekindle our old war, and uh, then I guess it's this battle fall. against the rebels under Edmund. Edmund. Also, gotta redistribute some estates, it would seem. That orchard there is hot property. 
And a lot of people want their hands on it. To put it mildly. There we go. Problem solved. Our foes will suffer. And attack. And he's got done then. My prowess increases. We will bring you glory. Here we go. Well, I can leave two armies to deal with, I think, all here in southwest England. That leaves this I army once I've built it up to hit northwards, I guess. Moving out. Alongside this army once that get built up alongside this army. Yeah, that looks pretty reasonable. That looks pretty reasonable. Rather looks like the Welsh are getting a bit uh, big. Gwynedd is rather all over the place. Rather all over the place. My prowess increases. Ooh, short victory conquest, but you know, we're heading for a long one. A long victory in general. Enemy blood will flow. Death marching, men. We'll see this. We're ready. Head down ready there. Up. Enemy blood will flow. Head down there to Warham. And assuming nothing here is happening, I'm going to ship him westwards. Wait, can I have a bit more of an impact? We continue towards Stanford, and then we begin. Uh, Building up this army. We pledge our service. Axemen tend to be pretty good. Some archers would also be helpful alongside a bit of cavalry. There we go. Reasonable sized army on the spot. We serve to the end. Glory awaits us. Like that and we'll, we'll strike here around Aethlin Gig soon enough. So far, just pretty quiet progress, pretty quiet. Again, one reason why it's clear they uh, need to increase difficulty. It's, uh, you know, once they're broken, you just sort of quickly move through it all very easily. Our foes shall fall. Until we hit another big enemy, and that's like going to happen there with Gwyneth or something, because again, they're more likely to have them. At which point we're probably seeing some bigger battles once more, but until then we just sort of uh, roll through southern England. Well, there might be something there from the far western one, the small Welsh there, who again is some hearts that are well Wales. Once more, I'm still not entirely sure how it works. Mears is gone. You can rely on And he's gone as well. Hurry along. We pledge your service. Smash Another king of Wessex fallen. Plunder and glory. Our foes. Let's go. Onward to glory. Our foes will suffer. Well, he's short on a lot of things, except axes, basically. Axes is the one thing we do not have a shortage of, it would seem. Eager and willing. There we go, forming our army there. I think you tried to go to war with Heliobalk again. Do you wonder they uh Yes they're Vikings. We will talk now. Our people are 
guess that wasn't quite as keen on it. Might have been that whole war with them, with their friends. Oh well, I guess we'll just roll over them. Come the next turn. Unless, uh, do we have any sort of diplomatic thing we could exploit? No, they're not at war with anyone. Could have been. Could have been. Now then. End turn. And then I guess we uh, slowly gear up for next war, next one. Another King of Wessex. And there we go. Another major city of Wessex sieged. I mean, if I say, yeah, we are kind of still guessing Wessex area there, but you know. Very funny. Dorset, we are not gonna put them out. That'd be a bit silly. That's up a tavern. There's less management issues and more money than we're setting up a church. I mean, who needs scope when you got alcohol? Am I right or am I right? Well, down and right, you don't drink alcohol. But you know, for some people, I imagine the answer would be very obvious. Clear. Go, secured. We're just rapidly pulling ahead here. Rapidly. My warriors are ready. Enemy blood will flow. Now oh, there we go. Sword has here. Now we got some of the better chaps. Mm, leadership. We could do that, I guess, but uh, do not much we gain out of that. Mm, we could also do some cavalry research, siege research. That'd be interesting. Or we could look to improve our arches and such. That wouldn't be a half bad idea either, actually. Or we could just continue here and maybe sort of look to, uh, oh, I don't know, increase the chance of recruiting spear infantry since we've got a massive shortage of them a lot of the time. I think that would help a bunch. I think that would help out. There we go. Um, we bled your service. Again, I just think I'm gonna need two armies to clear up that in the south. We'll see this um, through. Some cavalry, a bit of this, a bit of that. Should be good enough. You can rely on us. And then I think next time we just hit highly bulk there with everything we got. We pledge our service. Fit and ready. Hurry along. We serve to the end. Now we'll see. Just making sure all of our hairs here have been well Hitman have been upgraded to hairs yet. For victory. No point in going to battle without having, you know, uh, the best you can offer. But I think Wessex's not got a lot left. There's Wasset and Brideport, I think. The rest is basically their vassals' territory. And even the vassals are falling apart due to numerous rebellions, which they cannot deal with either. So I'd say this is uh, looking pretty good here for the Dane Lord. I have achieved greater rank. Enemy blood will flow. Yes, indeed. For glory! Ready for battle. Yes. 
And there you go, the final king of Wessex. Pretty sure I kill at least 20 of them. Go, Wessex is gone. Of course, it's not Umbria we need to deal with, but that's another story. And so we strike. We will. We will bring fear, thunder, and glory. My warriors are ready. Smash them. Quite a few big advances there. It's a regular blitzkrieg, people. Might as well hand over the estates of people who are more loyal to us and not necessarily too influential either. Boosting our road control. Not an option. So there we go. And turn. Or whatever that's supposed to be. Hit. Ready for to Buckingham. Without delay. Rely on us. Nap that, and then we the Glowcaster. Easily ceased as well. Since that was one, I think the remaining cities he took from here. Apparently, it was part of something else. Oh wait, that's not part of uh, the Dane law. We'll see this through. I'll find some spearmen here and some other bits there. More people who want estates, or at least want them more fairly distributed. In other words, not in my hands. Let's see who's loyal and not too influential. I'll do the trick. Right, yep. You can rely on us. So there we go. Back to most this rounded uh, Hellebork. We cannot. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. You can rely on us. Continue our sun and advance here. For glory! Yes! It's Odin's name! That is looking pretty good. An excellent and most glorious advance. By the most glorious Imperial Dane. For whom all glory is glorious. Yeah, that didn't make a lot of sense. Anyways, we continue onwards. As all of in southern England falls into the mighty and noble hands of the Dane Law. Ah, brats. Gotta deal with that then. Friendship will benefit both our houses. We are glad. Sure. We pledge your service. So that's one army we got to deal with. We pledge our service. 
Probably don't want to take Gwen it off too fast. Our foes shall fall. Thunder and glory. Strike now. Cease. Action caster. Oh, that's supposed to be pronounced. Which I'm not entirely sure. We serve to the end. I know Guess we go name. for Snottingham. Attack. Oh, didn't know you were within range to actually seize it. Enemy blood will I did not know. No. We'll see this through. Alrighty. Eager and willing. You can rely on us. Let's do this. So we do have a sizable cavalry advantage. Careful with, I think. Let me start. Range wise, we're sort of over there. They basically, the big advantage we have is we have a lot of infantry that tear through everything they got. Since on that level, we have a much higher quality troops. Hopefully, this will also help our little chap here gain a bit more influence since he's currently not that influential and seeing as he's here wouldn't hurt him to get in a bit better there. Sword here, see ya. Dane law action. Anglian marauders. All the good stuff. And they got their own sword hitman. Other fun things, but mostly just churls and such for the main army, which again are axemen and the likes. Sure, they have a pretty good chance of just coming through. Uh, for that matter. They should not have a particularly difficult time with it. Quite the opposite. Let battle commence. There you go, massive army, well equipped army, the Danelaw army. We found our foe. Forwards, men. Forwards. Chosen by Odin. Okay, some of them are heading into shield walls. Oh, there you go, most of them are now. And then they just sort of ruin the point, anyways. Scouts. Once we can clear out the scouts, we can rush the cavalry over to the other side to do it. Oh, never mind, they're rushing it over See, there. Well, there you go, first unit rushed away. The Chills are no match for the uh, Axemen and the Heard. So far, we are having quite an impact on them, too. Over here, armies falling back. Their sword here have been decimated by mine. I imagine Anglian raiders and sword hair, so which is just better than that. Yep, axemen and swordmen are just completely ruining their day. I'll be a bit more of a stalemate. It's a bit hard to tell them because I'm sort of moving about there to flank, so I'm just not going to do so. State your order. Over here, uh, looks like someone thing beating silly. Beating them down. Yeah, 
melee range units you can be so kind. Take care of them. That looks to be one by us. Moving behind with our cavalry and then crash with those left. On the west side, the overall big mass fight here continues. And then we'll do some making some short work of them. The battle is turning in our favor. Well, it should hopefully be turning in our favor with all the men we've been killing. Looks like the king is sort of warlord, which is the king, by the way, he's holding out there. He's actually quite a strong unit, so that's going to take a bit of a while there. Might benefit from never being hit from the side. Slightly expand over all the front tips so we can sort of you know, hit more and deeply. The Berserkers should be able to very quickly cut the way for the Churls. Very quickly. Oh dear, Hurtman's back in the action. But, uh, not like it's looking like it's going great for them overall. Go. They broke. The shield biters just bit things a bit too hard there. Closing 100 kills. Ah, they've gone to sack. So they can't really control them anymore. But at this stage, you don't think it matters too much. You can see that they're trying to withdraw here. The L was 100 man strong uh, bodyguard unit is completely battered now. The troops are routing. The enemy general is dead. And go dead. We got 125 kills. I mean, those shield bodies are just well elite. I mean, definitely feel like elite. Was also one thing I really disliked about Total War Warhammer. A lot of the units just you know didn't feel elite. But there you go. Game over. A decisive victory against Heliborg. Is bonkers. Also, I think really strong here. In this case, 111 kills is really good as well. Though the sword hairs, I would also say, did their part. March on. Oh, wait, that's pretty much that of that army. Oh, I thought for some reason the turn was still ongoing. I was just like, alright, when's the turn gonna end? And then, oh, oh, dang, you silly idiot. It's over. Of course, we haven't begun it again. In fact, for some reason, I thought it was the end of turn, but I'm just being an idiot, aren't I? <laughs> Absolute idiot. Get marching, men. Right, there we go, and I don't think we've got anything to do. Now I will end the turn. Right. Foes shall fall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Just checking everything because apparently I had a, for some reason, just lost full control of my brain there. Don't know why. Right, they're falling back towards Exencaster to defend that against my mighty and noble king. I have achieved greater rank. We'll see this through. And another pretty easy battle since their force is already worn out. My abilities have been boosted. We pledge your service. Yeah. More food production, plus of course steals food from them as well, so that's just bloody amazing. Absolutely bloody lootly amazing. Hmm. Enemy blood will flow. We serve to the end! We will bring fear. 
Strike now. Hit hard. Hmm. Kinda there's two armies of English rebels. But they all seem in such a poor condition, I don't think there's much point in not auto resolving this. I was probably would have folded out, but when it's just all in that kind of weak condition, I lost the arc to Our foes will suffer! Okay, can I place those? Yes indeed. Auto Master always a good thing to have, and we'll just fix all of this up. So there we go. Our realm extends further north. Gloriously so. You can rely on us. Mm. I might want to watch their uh, Gwent. So I think we're switching we're towards Glowcaster, and then we'll sort of for Gloucester, and then move towards here. I think sort of going through Southern Wales with this we army once we get that filled up a bit. Back here we are. Well, soon can we get the Danelaw Spearmen, Spearmen, which will replace our feared. Our foes shall fall. So there we go. Progress. Pretty good at that, I think. Pretty good at that. Got a lot of resources I can just spend on whatever I want. So, uh, might as well. Might as well. Looks like uh, the remaining vassal of Wessex has arrived. It's just, you know, Wessex is gone. It's very gone. We'll see this through. Smash them! Ready for combat! We fed your service. Orphan their offspring. Hit. My warriors Hit. are ready. Strike now. Just massive and violent expansion we'll now. Through. Without delay. I then. Derby hit. Enemy blood will flow. We then hire some more troops. I suspect we'll be seeing some heavier fighting soon, so tossing in a few things there I think could prove helpful. Could prove helpful. And we got more states to hand out. There we go. Bit repair up here in Bedford. You read it, the little bastard. The little, a little, a bastard. He raided us. Well, he won't get away with that. Not for long, anyways. Not for long. Economy is going amazingly well, though. I could probably get away with raising another army from scratch. If only I didn't have the pools for it, like. I got the money, I got the food, but I don't actually have the troops for it, which is a bit of an interesting situation to be in. So, in that regard, there's definitely a hard cap for uh, how fast I can actually grow my armies. Of course, if I were to upgrade some of these great halls and royal courts, I could probably have offset that a bit. But I think we'll be stopping here as we move into finish off southern England. We get ever closer to the long victory. 
Need to just defeat three more. And there's two here in southern England, and then we can probably gain another one by defeating Helibrook. So I imagine we'll be done here with East England, possibly next episode, in fact, in which case we'll be setting up there for hopefully the update. But that'll probably be around Thursday. Well, I think we should be able to do it. But, you know, take it from there, and then we'll sort of set up there. So if you've got any sort of, again, facts you'd like to see me play, sound off in the comments. This is Imperial signing off. Hope you enjoyed this video. Didn't subscribe, like, share, comment. I'm off for now, but I'll be back in another two days' time with the Dane Law. Bye, everybody.